all right today everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel and this is castle vlogs and today we will be talking about fundamental principle of counting so fundamental principle of counting so for addition and multiplication so multiplication in sequence of event events in which the first one has m possibilities the second has m2 possibilities and so on in the total number of possible outcomes we have just to multiply the events or possibilities or n is the number of events okay next we have here so in sequence of events in which the first has m possibilities and the second has m2 possibilities where are mutually exclusive then the total number of possible outcomes will be m this is m m in a number of events okay so our n is the number or m the number of events okay so let's have first in problem number one in a restaurant the person can choose from eight variants plain garlic or java rice five kinds of beverages and six kinds of desserts in how many ways can this person choose what to have if he is to order one of each group so in this case, this is a multiplication uh, rule of counting, principle of counting, counting principle rather. So we have here first, we have to have eight variants and there are garlic or java rice, plain garlic or java rice. We have three choices and also five kinds of beverages and the six kinds of desserts. We're just going to multiply this and the result is 720 ways that we could choose. Okay, so let's have for second one problem. In how many ways can five girls and three boys be seated in a row so that no two boys are together? So let us first have for all the girls. Okay. If this is girls, X, X, G, X, since there are five, G, then X, lacking one, and X, X could be here. So in how many ways can five girls and three boys be seated in a row of two, no two boys are together? So... In this case, the number of girls, in how many ways the number of girls could uh, could interchange is, we have here, or we could interchange in number of positions is 5 factorial. And since we only select for 3 boys, but 2, two boys are together, so we have presented here like this. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six. So there are six positions. So therefore, six, and we need to choose for three boys. So just multiply this one. So we have here five factorial times six permutation of three is one thousand one four four fourteen thousand four hundred. Okay. So that's it. That's the concept on how we're going to solve for number two but we could have also in this case okay if this is x g x g x g and this is g one two three four and this is g and this one so in this case there are fi five girls, okay? So the number of ways that we could uh, rearrange the number of girls again is five factorial. So in how many ways that we could, uh, we could change the position of the boy. So we could have this one. So we could, hmm, okay, transfer, we could transfer here. So, 
there are only two ways that we could transfer the voice. This is the first way, and this is the second way. But the voice also x1, x2, and x3 could alternate each other. So therefore, or could interchange each other rather. So we have here, so times, multiply here, times 3 factorial. And the number of ways that the boys could go to another place or Mubalencia is times 2. So there are first way and the second way. And the boys also interchange this one. Could interchange we have here 3 factorial. So one 3 factorial times 2 times factorial is 14,400. Okay, let's have problem number 3. If there are 3 roads from A from town A to town B and 4 roads from town B to town C, in how many ways can one go from town A to C and back to town A through town B without passing through the same road twice? So we have here A to B and to C. If there are 3 roads from A to B and there are 4 roads from B to C and without passing the same road but through B so we have here if we will not pass the same road so there are only three and we will not pass the same road with A to B to B to A that is two so therefore by the principle of counting principle of counting uh, principle of counting or principle of counting so we have here three times four times 3 times 2. So 3 times 4 times 3 times 2, that is equal to 72 ways. That we could pass through B without passing the same through row twice. Okay, let's have problem number 4. And how many words beginning with T and ending with E can be made? No letter repeated out of the letters of the word triangle. If this is triangle, Okay, the end should be T and E, ending with D and E, and no repeated. So the principle of no repetition, so therefore we have here, okay, so there are six remaining. So if we use, in this case, if we use R, if we use R, we could all use all the letters, so therefore 6. If you use R here, we could not use it. No repeated letters. So 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Or 6 factorial. So 6 factorial is equal to 720 ways. If you use R, we could not use R anymore. So therefore, the left or the remaining is 5. If you use I, the remaining 4. And so on. So therefore, we have 6 factorial is equal to 720 words. So let's have problem number 5. How many numbers greater than 5,000 can be formed with a digits 3, 5, 7, 8, 9? No, no digit being repeated. Next is digits can be repeated. For letter A, question letter A, or first question, greater than 5,000. So let us start with four digit number. Okay, let's start with four digit number. So since 5,000 only, okay, how many numbers we could have? Three, five, seven, eight, nine. Only we cannot put three here in the first, first position because it will just lesser than 5,000. But that is greater than 5,000, we could use 5, 7, 8, and 9. So therefore, there are 4 possible numbers that we could use in the first position. So the next position, if not being repeated, so therefore, if you use 4, if you use 5, the rest is, the remaining is 3, 7, 8, and 9. So therefore, there are only 
four numbers left here for the second position. And if you use three, there are three other, if you use seven, there are three numbers. And if you use three, there are two numbers. So this is four D, four D jet. So multiply this one. So we have here, okay. Four times four. Okay, let's calculate four times four times three times two. So we have here ninety-six. Okay, we have here ninety-six. And if in case that is a five digit number, okay, if in case that's five digit number, we could now make use of all these digits because that is still greater than 5,000. Example of this is uh, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. So 35,000 is now greater than 5,000. So therefore, the first digit of four, first position, rather, we could now put all. So this is a 5. All digits, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. But since no repeated, no repetition, so 4, no repetition, 3, times 2 and 1. So if we're going to multiply this, so we have here, so 5, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. Since no more digits can be used, or this only for 5 digits because there are four, 5 numbers only, so that is greater than 5,000, we have to add. So 96, plus 96 so i have 216 numbers greater than 5000 how about if digits are can be repeated so if digits can be repeated so let's start with the four digits of course we could still use of four here okay we could make use of four because only five seven eight nine nine are possible to be used in the first position since uh, digits can be repeated if we use five so all numbers can now be used so therefore this is five since it can be repeated five and five for this is for the four digits number so what is the answer of this one is four times five times five times five is equal to 500. Next is digits can be repeated for the five digits number. So since can be repeated, in this case, we can now make use of all the numbers. 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. Still can be repeated, can be repeated, can be repeated, can, can be repeated. So multiply this one. So five. There, that is three thousand one hundred twenty-five. So you're just going to add this one because it's, there are only five digits possible, the maximum. So there's a plus five hundred. This is three six two five numbers are allowed or numbers greater than 5,000 if digits can be repeated. Okay, next is how many numbers between 3,000 and 4,000 can be formed from the digits 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 with no digits can be repeated in any number. So the question now is for this one. Okay, for number six, so we have here between, so only four digits, four digits number can be used since this is between 3,000 and 4,000. So in this case, if we will use three as the first digit, so it's okay, but if we will use four, we cannot make use of 4 as the first position because if we're going to write 4 as the first position like, like this, 4 
356 is not between 4,000 anymore. So only three is allowed. So there are only one numbers in one in the first position. Since digits with no digits can be repeated, so in the in the second case is that since if we use three in the second digits we have now one two three four five so therefore this is a five we can now use all the five because if that is repeated we can make it some six because we can still use three since the question here is digits being repeated no digits being repeated so we could not make use of three anymore so there are only five numbers which is four five six seven and eight can be used and the next is no repeated so this is four and and this is three so if we're going to multiply this one this is five times one times five times four times three that's equal to 60 numbers all right so thank you so much for listening so please solve this one at home and solve these six problems and try this and i hope you learned something today and please comment your answers or please notify if you have access already the youtube channel thank you and god bless everyone